Welcome to the January episode of What's New in Surfshark. Let me show you all the new features that we cooked up in December. But since it is the first episode of 2022, let's also recap the whole year. You will not believe how Surfshark has changed in 2021. But before that, don't forget to give a video a like and subscribe to our awesome YouTube channel. Let's start with the star of 2021, which was our browser extension. Look at this. That's the Surfshark extension at the start of 2021, and now here it is again at the end of the year. It's like night and day, and it's not just the UI that was changed. Features like cookie pop-up blocker and auto connect were also added this year. Plus, our browser extension dev team brought one last feature before the new year called website safety warnings. By enabling this feature in the VPN settings, you'll be notified if a website that you're visiting had any kind of a data breach. So for example, if I go to linkedin.com, I'll get this red line at the top indicating that the website had a data breach. This way, I will know to be extra careful when creating an account for this website. Or if I already have an account, then I will change the password to be 100% safe. Just bear in mind that this feature will not work unless you are connected to the VPN. To get it, simply update your extension to version 3.10, which is currently available on both Chrome and Firefox. And yes, this time, Firefox users, we did not forget about you. These updates would not be possible without the amazing dev team that we have here at Surfshark. The team said that they are very happy to see how the extension transformed over the course of the year. And if you have any suggestions on what else you want to see on our extensions or anywhere really, leave them in the comments below. The biggest update that we had in 2021 was the launch of Surfshark 1. This package gives our users one bundle that secures all aspects of their digital life. Want to encrypt your online connection? Here's a VPN. Need a private search engine? Surfshark Search is here. Data breaches scare you? Not anymore with Surfshark Alert. And why stop there? Let's secure our devices from viruses with the all new antivirus. All of this in one place in a single subscription. How cool is that? 2022 will be a big year for our antivirus as it just got approved by Microsoft allowing us to implement real-time protection. And that's not all. Even more great things are coming this year. Surfshark 1 launch will forever be that stepping stone that started it all. Speaking of our proudest moments, let's talk about Surfshark 10 gigabit servers that were released in 2021. Having good, speedy servers is one of the core pillars of an A-grade VPN. And of course, our dev teams understood that from the start, improving servers daily. But instead of making small improvements like other VPN providers, we took it a mile further. Introducing 10 gigabit servers back in November of 2021, we made Surfshark much faster. Of course, we are not stopping here more improvements are on their way in 2022. Having that improvement in speed was really important to us. But another core aspect of a good VPN provider is security. What good are speedy servers if they're not secure? Well, Surfshark server infrastructure underwent an independent security audit back in May of 2021. The audit was done by Cure53 and their conclusion was that Surfshark has extremely secure servers. These audits are super important for us to improve our product and we hope to have more of them in the future. Our Windows team also brought some holiday presents with the 3.2 update. You are now able to drag and drop files to the antivirus to quickly check if it has any viruses. And one more small addition was the preferred location option in the Quick Connect button, allowing you to connect to your favorite location even faster. 2021 was a big year for our Windows app, bringing the antivirus, WireGuard version 2 implementation, and more. Oh, and just like the extension, the whole app was completely redesigned to make it more streamlined and easier to use. Moving from Windows to Apples, the macOS app for Surfshark also received a small 3.11 update in December. But now, check this out. Here's the screenshot of the macOS app from January of 2021. And now, here it is again in 2022. Looks way better, doesn't it? Keep in mind that it's not just the looks that changed, the functionality of the app improved tremendously. This change in UI is our proudest moment for the macOS app. But the team did not forget the iOS app either. With the 2.24 update, we added some cute iOS stickers to celebrate the holidays. These are just adorable, and we hope to see them on social media very soon. The team told me that they are especially proud of the iOS widgets and the notification center updates. Similar features and more are coming in 2022. So happy new year from our Apple dev team here at Surfshark. Lastly, let's talk about our Android app. The team did not release any updates in December, but we still wanted to highlight how big 2021 was 
for our Android app. Just like on Windows, the big addition this year was the antivirus. But besides that, the team is also very proud of features like login with code and the fact that over the course of the year, security and connectivity rates increased significantly. They also told me to tell you that 2022 will be an exciting year for the Surfshark Android app. As an Android user myself, I cannot wait for these updates. Our research team analyzing cybersecurity topics was also very busy last year. In 2021 alone, they had over 13 research projects. Here are a few that the team wanted to highlight. First was the Digital Quality of Life Index 2021. We release DQL every year to find out how each country ranks in five fundamental pillars that define the digital quality of life. We were happy to know that DQL was featured worldwide in a ton of various publications. But if you haven't checked it out yet, then click on this card here to watch an entire video that we made about it. We also released social media censorship statistics for 2021. In this study, we analyzed social media blocking in over 190 countries from 2015 all the way to the present day. This research showed how social media services have become an increasingly popular measure for oppressive regimes to control public sentiment and freedom of speech. I'll leave a link to both projects in the description below. In 2022, our team plans to continue researching important cybersecurity topics affecting us all, and we very much hope to see more. You know what I'm most proud of? My quick bit segments. They just never get old. Logging with code feature was added in December to our website, allowing you to log in quickly to your Surfshark apps without having to type in your credentials. To finish 2021, we added two new virtual locations to all apps, those being Bolivia and Ecuador. A new case study analyzing data breaches by country is available on our blog, and unsurprisingly, the US is on top of that list, but if you want to see where your country ranks, I'll leave a link in the description below. And we released a video going through the worst apps for your privacy in 2021. Go check out that video right here to find out. Last but not least, we wanted to celebrate that in 2021, Surfshark received the PC Mag's Editor's Choice Award and Tech Creators Work From Home Award. And that's the end of this video, but before that, me and my team wanted to give a personal thank you to all Surfshark YouTube channel subscribers and viewers. This channel grew by quite a bit in 2021, and we will not be stopping anytime soon. So once again, thank you guys for watching these videos, liking them, sharing them, and we really greatly appreciate it. And that is also all for this special first episode of 2022. In the comments below, let us know what are your New Year's resolutions, if you have any, and remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and that's all for me. Happy New Year and take care.